Again, with a multi-state drug bust that resulted in 18 arrests. Federal investigators say they are accused of stealing more than $1.5 million worth of prescription drugs from Arkansas pharmacies. This morning, officials shared more details surrounding these arrests, and THV 11's Brooke Buckner joined us now with the latest. Yeah, Faith and Rowley, an organized crime ring from Houston is accused of robbing more than 20 Arkansas pharmacies. Federal investigators say it was all part of an operation called Rich Off Meds between February 2022 and November of this year. They traveled by rental car from Texas to Arkansas, where in the early morning hours they would shatter the glass at pharmacy locations, then low crawl on the floor to evade motion detectors and systematically remove dangerous opioid, benzodiazepine, and other scheduled medications from pharmacy shelves. U.S. Attorney Jonathan Ross says they then brought the medicine back to Houston and sold it to buy guns and custom jewelry. Houston law enforcement also collected nearly $80,000 cash in the drug bust. Unfortunately, the targeted pharmacies felt the impact, and so did the patients that rely on their medications. Patients either had to wait on new supply of controlled substances or go to other pharmacies in order to have their prescriptions filled. As a pharmacist and as a, the director of the Arkansas State Board of Pharmacy, I got many of these disheartening calls from my colleagues, my friends, my fellow pharmacists when they would come into their store and discover that overnight they'd been broken into and they'd had a loss of controlled substances. But at the end of the day, they say they're happy to get these potentially dangerous drugs off the streets. We're all friends. We will work on these things together and we're resources for each other. So I just want to thank everyone up here today that this is a, an absolute wonderful end to a tragic story. And I look forward to seeing more results like this to come in Arkansas. Seven of the defendants appeared in federal court yesterday and the rest of them are set to have their hearings next month.